Instant Monsters presents Foam Latex Application. Part 1. Application. There are several materials that you will need to complete this application. Astringent and cotton balls. A foam latex prosthetic, such as those available on our website at www.instantmonsters.com. Color-free powder and a powder puff. Adhesive and cotton swabs. I'll be using Prosade for this makeup, but there are several other alternatives such as spirit gum and silicone adhesive. 99% rubbing alcohol. Thickened adhesive or eyelash adhesive. A wedge of red makeup sponge with the tip cut off. And latex makeup sponges. Our model today will be Andrew Brett. Hey there. Begin by pinning back your hair if you need to. You don't want it falling down into the makeup or into the glue while you work. Next, you're going to clean your skin with an astringent such as witch hazel. This will remove any dirt and oil, giving you a clean surface to work on. It's a good idea to cover yourself with a makeup cape to catch any spills. The glues and makeup used for this character will ruin clothing. Since this is a generic prosthetic, the first thing you want to do is hold it against your face to see how it fits. You may find that you need to adjust it to match your face by stretching or shifting it slightly. Foam latex is very stretchy, so you'll have a lot of flexibility to work with. Once you have the prosthetic positioned the way you want it, apply a heavy coat of powder to mark the edges. This is called registration, and will help you to find the position again once the glue is in place. Pour a small amount of Prosade into a deli cup to work out of. That way you don't take the risk of spilling the entire bottle if you knock it over. Using a cotton swab, apply a small amount of Prosade to the centermost point on your face, which is usually your nose. Let the Prosade dry before setting the prosthetic in place. You can easily tell when it's ready because Prosade is white when it's wet, but dries clear. Press the prosthetic in place following the powder registration. Once the center is glued down, you can work outward from that point. Don't glue the edges yet, you want to save those for last. For the best movement, you should completely cover your skin in adhesive, but there's no need to paint it in your eyebrows. It will come out, but it will take a lot of work. Prosade is a contact adhesive, so for a really strong bond, you can apply it to both your skin and the prosthetic. Once both sides have dried, you can press the prosthetic in place. Since Andrew is only wearing this makeup for a demonstration, I'm applying the Prosade to just his skin to make removal easier. Once the bulk of the prosthetic is glued in place, it's time to glue the edges. You can use a set of tweezers to lift them if you want, or you could just use your fingers. Paint adhesive under the lifted edge, then press the edge in place once it's dry with your finger or by rolling the handle of a makeup brush. If any edges fold under, pleat, or otherwise don't lay properly, you can re-liquify the prosade using a small brush to work some 99% alcohol under the edge. While the glue is liquid, you can shift the edge to make it lie down properly. Once all of the edges are glued down, it's time to blend them into the skin. Cut the tip off of a red wedge of makeup sponge and use it to dab adhesive all along the edge. You don't need much since the edges of the prosthetic are already tissue thin. You can speed the drying time with a hair dryer if you need to, then dab a second coat of glue around the edge. You also want to apply a coat of Prosade over the entire surface of the prosthetic to seal it. This will prevent the oils in the makeup from being absorbed by the foam latex, which will eventually discolor while the makeup on your face stays the same. Once all of the glue has dried, apply a heavy coat of powder to eliminate any residual stickiness. The powder will also help you see any edges that still need repair. These thicker edges can be filled in with eyelash adhesive or thickened Prosade. Use a spatula to fill in these edges. 
When the edges are blended into the skin, apply a final coat of powder. The prosthetic is now applied and blended into the skin. In part two of this video, we will cover coloring the prosthetic.